Hey guys, Adam here, the Roof Strategist, and welcome back. Today is a video to help you stay motivated, find your meaning, and survive the roofing battlefield. Now, before we jump in, I want to get one thing crystal clear. A huge thank you to all of our men and women in service for our country. This is by no means to draw any correlation on the severity of putting their lives in danger for our freedom. This is to talk about the battlefield that occurs inside your mind in sales. Now, a couple things to note. The roofing battlefield takes place in a few different areas. We have the battlefield of our mind, the battlefield of our motivation, the battlefield of other competitors, maybe that are walking your signs or penetrating neighborhoods that you've opened up, and the battlefield for the attention of your prospective customers and the retention of everyone that you sign up. So when you approach this battle, you need to have the right strategy because the wars are won in planning, not always directly on the battlefield. It's the strategy behind the infiltration. It's the strategy behind the attack. It's about finding your competitive edge and your tactical advantage that gives you a competitive edge and a winning edge in the marketplace. So for you, what does this mean as a salesperson or an owner? That's the battlefields, again, for your own mind, for your motivation against your competitors, okay? Maybe they're walking your signs or doing things that beat you down, competitors. And most importantly, your customers. Now, it is no secret that when you are out there every day, knocking doors, boots to the pavement, getting referrals, keeping customers after you ink the deal or ink a contingency, it can feel like a battle. And sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. We've all had deals snaked from under us. We've all had issues with competitors reaching out that you know can be downright hurtful, painful, and frustrating. So it's important that you arm yourself with the right tools to win. So how do you do that? How do you win this right here to always come out on top? You need the right strategy, right? You need the right inspiration. You need a plan and you need a competitive edge. Okay, now what does this mean? is differentiating ourselves, standing out, doing things different, capturing attention differently, and everybody does it different ways. Now, some companies will use direct mail and say, hey, I'm, I'm sending you mail because I respect your time and I don't wanna show up at your door unannounced. Yet, we all know that they are out knocking doors as well. So that might be one angle to differentiate yourself. Some companies are gonna come in and say, hey, I do roofing only. I am a roofing expert. That's why you should choose me. That's a competitive advantage. Another company can be equally as well equipped and say, hey, my competitive advantage is I'm a storm restoration contractor. I'll handle all the trades. I'll tackle your roof. I'll tackle your siding. I'll get those windows replaced. I'll rewrap your windows. I'll do your gutters, your downspouts, and even the little odds and ends stuff that's come up, like maybe staining the deck. And maybe that's your competitive advantage. There's really no right answer, but to get to the bottom of it, you need the right strategy, the inspiration, and plan. And without these, you will not survive the battlefield. So how do you find those? Now, this channel is one place, right? If you haven't yet, by the way, please click subscribe. Drop some comments. I respond to videos that you, my loyal audience and fans, I create what you guys are looking for. I respond to requests all day. You can also email me, adam at roofstrategist.com. Your feedback means the world to me. So here's a resource for you to get both inspiration, a strategy, and a plan, and to learn how to speak to your competitive edge. Watch my videos on acing the pitch at the door, how to use my under the radar sales letter, and other angles to help you gain a competitive edge while you capture the attention of your customers to get uh, leads, to get appointments booked, and to sign deals. So that's one area. Another area is information outside this industry. And I'm gonna be doing another video here on using your truck is the most, is a little classroom. And, and by the way, that's not my original thought, that's Brian Tracy, and I absolutely love what he has to say. I'm gonna share more on that here coming up. That could be having plans from proven marketing strategies. Inspiration can come in many different forms. Some folks are religious and they find that's a great place to find inspiration when you've knocked on 10 doors and you got your teeth kicked in or the fourth yard sign got walked right after you signed it and they said, hey, I'll eat your deductible. There's a three-day cancellation in this state. You know, don't go with them, go with me. So maybe it's inspirational quotes. And I was listening, I'm in it, I love uh, mountain biking. That's my big hobby, my outlet. And I'm training for one of my biggest endurance uh, races right now. And in that, I I've studied what other people have done. And one of the guys who's world renowned, he literally every single morning goes on YouTube and he finds an inspirational like mix video. He didn't give a link to it in this podcast he listened to, but he listens to that every single day to prime himself with positivity. So wherever you find this, some guys play guitar, right? 
you need to have this grounded outlet to feel good about you, what you do to keep that motivation up. Because it is no secret that we pull 14, 16, 20 hour days at time. And even though I know in, the, in one of my videos, we talked about how hard to work, whether that's considered hustling or not. And again, hustling is used with tons of different industries. We've got um, people that, that preach it in every aspect of sales. And, and I like to use the word hustle just because it's the mindset of working hard versus working smart, right? That's the difference. So um, find that inspiration and find the plan. And I highly recommend you watch my other video on creating your income plan because ultimately when we are on the battlefield, if we do not have that end in mind, what does winning mean to us? And I'm gonna write that down. What does winning mean to you, okay? This right here is the answer me, what does winning mean? Okay. What does it mean to you? And I want to give you an example. So I just had an on-site big shout out to Cody and Mitch, and I just spent a day with them not long ago. And we talked about how to help them grow. And I'm gonna leave their company name out of it for their own privacy. And when they first came to me, we said, hey, here's our plan for growth. And they had all these different ideas. But when we sat down and identified what winning actually meant to them, we found an entirely different approach to get to that end goal. So here's what we did. We started with the end in mind. We identified, by the way, that is uh, from Stephen Covey's book, uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I would highly recommend you read that book. It's great. But he says, start with the end in mind. So when you identify, what, is, what does that mean to you? Is it an income goal? Is it growth? Is it number of offices? Is it revenue? Is it profit? As a salesperson and owner, they may mean different things, but we ultimately need that vision to win. Same thing on the battlefield. You have a tactical thing in a war zone. You want to get from here to here. You have different terrain to deal with, um, enemy bases to deal with, uh, the threat of an attack. You have to know where you want to get eventually. What is, the, what is the meaning behind it? And how do you defend yourself against those outside threats. They're inevitable. Another one of my favorite books, which I've mentioned, uh, is by Brian Tracy. It's a book called Flight Plan. And in that book, he talks about how a flight taking off from here and going here is gonna be off course about 98% of the time. And in that process, even though they're off course, they're always gonna land at their destination, right on the airstrip, right where they're meant to go, because it is inevitable. There's things outside of our control, and I'll use the analogy in the flight world, wind, turbulence, um, uh, air traffic. There's all these things that we can't control. Weather. But they are, there is things that we can control. So how do we correct? I was on a flight coming home from seeing a client in Houston and it was the most turbulent flight ever. ever. And the pilot goes, hey, we got to drop like 4,000 feet to get under this bad weather. I mean, I, I thought the freaking oxygen masks were going to come down. But that pilot says, hey, I know where I'm going. He's going to Denver. And he needed to drop the plane down. So he was off course, but it was, you know, responding to something that he didn't foresee. And then boom, he got back on course and we landed. And here we are, right? So you need to have the end in mind, the end goal, what does that mean to you? And then you need two things. One, you need an action plan, okay? And two, you need a defensibility plan. So I worked with a company who uh, was growing and they were seeking outside investment. Uh, this is in the non-roofing space, by the way, because I do have a, a life in the marketing world, marketing and sales world as well. And one of the things that, that investors often look for is defensibility. How are you going to defend yourself in a growing, com growing competitive marketplace? So what's your defensibility? What's your strategy? What's your reaction? What's your response time when something comes up? As the pilot, to go around, over, under, through, whatever it is to get to your destination. So on this battlefield, I'm really excited to be able to share this. I put a lot of thought into this because um, uh, I discontinued my, my old product and I replaced it with something I'm really excited to share with you. And that product is the Marketing Battle Pack. And inside, uh, which there's a link below if you wanna check it out, will help you win on the battlefield. Okay, because it is a battle out there. And you can use the marketing strategies that I teach alongside this channel, by the way. After you, if you do decide to purchase, which there's no obligation, but if you do decide to purchase, you'll find that you'll get an email with videos to show you how to use my marketing material. I call it plug and go marketing material. So you literally just plug in uh, your name and all that and you send it out, uh, excuse me, uh, print it out and you can start using it right away. It's not overly produced. It doesn't stand out like, hey, this is marketing material, you know, the door hangers you see. It's hyper, hyper personalized. So it'll give you a strategy. You can turn to this channel. And by the way, I want you guys to have the resources you need. To me, it's books, podcasts, and audiobooks. That's the inspiration that I find to stay on task. And being surrounded by people I love, people that, people that fuel me. I have a slogan. This is my internal whiteboard here. And there's a quote I wrote at the top. It says, follow what fuels you. That's the quote that I follow. So you, my subscribers, my viewers, my fans, you are what inspire me. 
um, I got beat down recently a little bit and literally in the next two days I, I had the most messages I've ever gotten from from fans on comments on YouTube uh, replies from email which by the way you can download my three tricks to get to the kitchen table it's a free ebook and email course to help you learn some really subtle little tactics that can help you get past the front door and get seated at the uh, kitchen table. So you guys inspire me and it is so rewarding to be able to inspire you in return. So find that inspiration and then design that plan. If you haven't done it, go through my channel, look at how I create an income plan. But when you do this and you know where you need to go and how, excuse me, and you have a deep understanding of what winning means to you, what is your goal? That's finding your why. Um, it, you know, and just to go on a small tangent, we've all heard those stories of the mom like lifting a car because her kid is underneath it. We have this superhuman strength to overcome obstacles when we have a clear vision of where we're going and we don't let outside influence kind of knock us off our horse, so to speak. So finding that why and tapping into why it is what you're doing is really powerful. And for me, my why when I got into this business was because I was broke. I was making $20,000 a year. I'd asked my mother for gas to fill up my tank. And then I fell into sales and I did well. And my why was to turn my life around and I did. And it's a gift to be able to give back to people who were in a place just like me. Maybe they know they're talented. Maybe they're sick of the day to day. Maybe they're sick of grinding. Maybe they're a salesperson and they just haven't been armed with the right training or resources from the company or the team that they're with. This is uh, your why. Finding that. Tap into why it is what you're doing. Ultimately, everyone's like, oh, I want to find my passion in life. Guys, we all have passions. Mine's mountain biking. You don't see me trying to make a living doing that, right? So I find meaning in what I do to help inspire other people to create better lives for themselves. So when you have your why, you can survive anything. That's why these soldiers that win Purple Hearts put their lives at risk because they have a why. It becomes a completely selfless, selfless act to do brave acts in life and you can do the same thing. So I'm going to close with this. The roofing battlefield can be won and it is a battle of your own mind first. Okay. This isn't to say that everyone out there is horrible. They're not. This is a battle of your own mind. It's a battle of your motivation of your competitors. Right. And by the way, I, I approach this very differently. Um, small side note here. I believe there's enough work to go around for everyone. I've never had a tiff with a competitor other than a couple of times where I've had jobs, you know, tried to be taken from me in ways that I would not conduct to another business because if they have a yard sign to me, that's off limits. Okay. That's how I act. That's my moral code, my moral compass. So outside of those things, I don't believe there's competition guys. It's a fair field and there's enough work to go around and the, your customers are going to choose who they like and they want to work with. So you kind of need to focus on that. You kind of need to say, Hey, I don't really have any competitors. I'm doing me. I'm focused on what I want to do and who I want to serve. Right. And your customers, right? So there's your competitors and then your customers and your customers, you need to win that battlefield, which is in their mind. Why should they give you the time of day to talk to you at the door? Whether you're cold calling them, you're knocking on their door for a referral, someone else passed a referral, you're doing production next door. Why should they give you the time of day? So you have to win that battle. And again, it boils down to the strategy, inspiration and plan. And if you want, I want to give you a few resources to help you along your journey. First is two free offers for you. One, in the video description below, you can click a link to join my 30 day sales challenge. It's completely free. I have a playlist there and it's designed to help you structure your life, your day and your uh, daily operation into a plan to hit your sales goal. I walk you through what I learned. And by the way, this is not, most of this stuff isn't totally unique, right? There's influencers like Brian Tracy. There's um, uh, other books and trainings in sales that we try to grab what we've learned and apply it to this industry in the most powerful way possible. So that's what I'm doing here for you is aggregating all the knowledge and insights that I've had over the years and putting it into a format that helped me and I know has helped the people in this channel, the viewers, the people that have worked with me one-on-one, -on -one, companies I've consulted with, teams I've trained, and I want to help you do the same thing. So that 30-day sales challenge, you can opt in there. I also have a book called the e uh, it's, uh, Three Tricks to Get to the Kitchen Table. Really simple tactics to help you kind of ace your inspection, take some photos, and how I deliver that information in a really subtle way to the homeowner so I can get it invited into the house, which makes the sale a lot easier. You'll also receive about 11 follow-up emails with individual little mini lessons in them so you can opt in there. And if you are interested, you can check out my marketing battle pack because it is a battlefield out there and I want you to be armed with the best information, resources and plan that you possibly can. There is more material coming soon. I'm releasing an entire wave of new info and any customers that have purchased my old program, my old material, you will be getting, by the way, it is not dated. <laughs> when I say old, it is not outdated. It is still in use. Um, 
you will get the everything that is updated for free uh, before the price goes up because there's going to be a huge, huge, hugely valuable boom injection of stuff in there that you're absolutely going to love. So you can check it out. There's a link in the description. If you have any questions, video suggestions, drop them my way. All right. So if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to this channel and you'll see a new video every Tuesday at 730 Mountain Time. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comments below. Click thumbs up so I know you like the video and don't be shy to drop me an email, adam at roofstrategist.com. Thank you fans for keeping me inspired, helping me understand my why, which is to inspire people just like you to reach their income goals, create the lifestyle they've set out to create and earn what you're worth and what you believe you're worth. So thanks for being part of this. I really mean that. I will see you on the next video.